Hey guys, uh, I got a little something to say and I wrote it out because I didn't want to forget anything or sound like a scatterbrained raving lunatic. So uh, here we go. Hey, my name is Frank and I want my country back. We've gotten so far off track, our government is broken and most of our elected officials have betrayed the trust we put in them. The faith that we pledged to them, the faith we had that they would do the right thing, it's all been betrayed. Examples, trans people, it's a real hot topic right now, yeah? Trans people make up about 1.5% of the population. Why does the left fight so hard for 15 people out of a thousand? It's political. It's ridiculous to expect 98.5% of the country to bend over backwards to pacify the other 1.5%. How is it political, you, you might say? The left picked an oppressed demographic. They went all in on backing and supporting and encouraging and promoting a mental disorder. I can feel the hate already. Suck it up. Gender dysphoria is a mental disorder. Get over it. I don't hate on trans people, guys, but it's it's kind of ridiculous that we're all being forced to count out of that. Ridiculous. So logical and intelligent people see what the left is doing by pushing 98.5% of the population and bend over and grab their ankles. They call BS. As soon as you know we don't step in line and dedicate ourselves to using preferred pronouns, boom, you get labeled transphobic and homophobic. And how do you disprove that? How do you combat being called homophobic and transphobic? You can't. You can't. It's not possible. You can't. You can't prove. So the, the left has seen the sympathetic, loving, and caring. They're now the good guys for calling out your bigotry and hate speech. And there's nothing you can do about it except just sit there and get labeled, I guess. Dicking wrong politically. Left wing. The left wins. Trans people think they won, but they just got used like pawns, and everyone else loses. Knock it off, guys. Enough's enough. All right, let's talk about passing bills. I'm not talking about I'm passing which bills my family is choosing to pay this month because Sleepy Joe decided to flush the economy down the toilet by doing a complete 180 on everything that the previous administration had done. We were energy independent. We were producing so much domestic oil, we had to, we had to export it. We were selling oil to the rest of the world. We had so much, we didn't know what to do with it. That's why prices were so low. We had a secure southern border. We now have seven plus new illegals in this country because of Biden reversing Trump's policies. Sex trafficking, uh, drug trafficking, they're both rampant, not to mention other things that have uh, happened as a result of the non-existent border policy. Uh, I'm not going to go into specifics there, but people lost their lives. I'm not going <clears> to, <throat> you know, stand stand on their backs. I'm not going to say their names to go ahead and gain uh, gain some credibility off that clout. Uh, Afghanistan, uh, huh. <laughs> Afghanistan withdrawal. Trump hit a deal for a peaceful withdrawal from the region by May 1st, 2021. Why May 1st? Well. Ramadan. It's a holy holiday. There would have been no hostilities going on during Ramadan. There would have been no fighting. We could have just pulled right out. <laughs> pulled out. And uh, there would have been no problem. What did Joe do? He pushed the uh, withdrawal date back and broke our promise with, with people in the region. So they got pissed off. They got aggressive. Why did he push it back? Why did he push back that date? Um, so that the final soldier coming home could arrive home in September. Hmm, September what? September 11th. Joe pushed this stuff all back so that he could bring 9-11 full circle, bring the final you know, soldier home on 9-11 and just be like, hey, uh, look at me. I ended the, uh, you know, the thing with the buildings that, that fell down and went boom. That was me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Real cool, asshole. People died. Because of your political grandstanding. Piece of crap. 
Moving on. Congress, I'm talking to all of you in Congress here. Quit screwing around. A bill about books in the classroom should be about books in the classroom. If it's a good bill or pass without having to add something that your political rivals want to push through. But Frank, if I, if I want the votes, I need to, you know, insert political party here, then I need to put in what they want about tree frog mating habits. And then, you know, then your own party is like, oh, well, if they want tree frog mating habits, we want this added to the bill. Then no, we're going to add this to the bill. Until like 5% of the Classroom Book Reform Act has to do with classroom book reform. If it's a good bill, it'll pass on its own. If not, you know, uh, you find the people that voted against it and ask them, hey, why'd you vote against this perfectly logical bill? Why, why'd you vote against, you know, good stuff for students in the classroom? Uh, let, me, let me show you an example about that and how this is all dirty, really, really dirty. Uh, HR 1319. AKA the American Rescue Plan, AKA COVID-19 uh, relief bill. Uh, it's passed without a single Republican vote. It was a huge bill. It, it had, I couldn't even read all the stuff that was in there. I got bored reading all the crap that was in it. Uh, let me refresh your memories though. Uh, a very small part of this monster bill had to do with funding the police. Something like 5%, something really, really tiny. And when no Republicans voted for this monster-sized bill, the Democrats focused on, oh, oh, Republicans, they want to defund the police. They couldn't vote for this bill. When they were the ones calling for defunding the police since like 2016. Ridiculous, guys. It's fucking gaslighting. Sorry about the language. Quit screwing around. You know, if, if you want to put through a bill about tree frog mating habits, go ahead and do that. If you want to give money to transgender studies in you know, Ethiopia, go ahead and do that. But make it a solo bill. Something you can say, yes, I wanted to pass this. Or no, I didn't want to pass this with your vote. Instead of being like, well, I passed that because we had to pass all this other stuff that was in the bill. <sighs> Moving on. You guys got to quit screwing around. Really. You guys are ridiculous finally government officials using its power to tear down political rivals two BS impeachments for Trump both baseless and unfounded Pelosi being all giddy and handing out you know uh, you know a ceremonial pens that she used to sign the impeachment you're a joke it was disgusting the lies about the Russian collusion 100% fabricated proven to be fabricated the selected out of context stuff that's taken, you know, that Republicans say, especially Trump. You know, someone will give a speech and they'll be like, oh, he said this exact thing right here. Here's a clip of him saying it. We don't show what he said before or after that, so it's all out of context. And, you know, the media, you're pieces of shit for pushing it too. Uh, the bogus fraud charge that uh, may very well bankrupt Trump, they have a bunch of his assets seized especially when they devalue all of his assets and half a billion dollars he's got to come up with that's ridiculous for nothing he didn't do anything wrong you guys are jokes there's no limit to how much you guys are going to lie and what depths you'll sink to in the name of getting trump is there <sighs> by the way the classified document things that trump did it was not a crime no biden did though but i guess we're gonna look the other way on that one huh Kinda, kinda like Hillary deleting 30,000 plus emails and then scrubbing her server clean so you know nobody could look and retrieve those emails. And how about the 20 something uh, you know, government officials associated with Hillary? You know, that all forgot their screen unlock password and all 26 or so of them, 20, I think it was 26, they had to go ahead and factory reset their phones because they all forgot their password. Yeah, no. That's fine. That's nothing to see here. Just move along, huh? I could rant longer, but <clears throat> I think this is enough, and I'll leave you all with this. I want my country back. I'm not the only one that feels this way. Every time you all in the government play your little games, that's one more straw on the camel's back. Eventually, it's going to break. Quit screwing around, or someday soon, someone who feels the way I do, Ah, 
I ran out of paper. So I uh, couldn't finish that sentence. Anyhow, uh, quit screwing around, guys, and um, get back to doing what you're supposed to do. Serve the people instead of your own agendas. Peace.